Good morning, everybody. You know that color looks nice on you. You look like a fall leaf. Thank a, you. A leaf, a leaf. Is yeah. that what I'm supposed to say? A leaf. Is anything like a flake? <laughs> Maybe kind of, sort of. Well, let's just say that uh, today is going to be a flaky day because we got a whole <laughs> lot going on and we're both yeah. kind of addled because we got so much going on. Uh, I'll tell you, these temperatures have fallen and at the Dwight House, it was what temperature today? I didn't even check it. I don't know. I'd say, has 30, it hit 29 yet? 32 ish, I'd say. Okay, yeah. okay. Did you have your big old frost? No, I hadn't seen any frost yet. Oh, come on. You're Not at me. the Dwight House, no. My car was froze over. It looked like an Eskimo. Of course, now <laughs> <laughs> I don't drive the bus anymore, so I don't get up that early. So there okay. could have been one. Yeah, there you go. Who knows? There you go. You're spoiled. Yeah. yeah. You are kind of retarded right now. Retarded. Yeah. Can you believe I said the word retarded? It's uh, really retired. Yeah. The picture you, don't look good. Are you retired or retarded? Are we out of color? No. 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 Oh, oh, daddies. Yeah. I see that. Okay, here we got. We're gonna play with this. All right, here we go. Now, looks fine. Isn't that strange? Yep. See? Yep. Well, I'll just hold it every day. <laughs> Okay, I'll just hold it every day. <coughs> now it looks good. Look at that. I don't you look yeah, at that. Yeah, it looks good now. What about Ooh, that? Ooh, it don't, uh -oh, look, don't good. look good. <laughs> That's crazy. I'll, you just got to, I'll just hold it. <laughs> I got no, I'll fix talk. it. I'll fix it. I have a new position. There you go. I'm, yeah. I'm the George Amon Sanford picture holder official. Yeah. Music, music, music. What did you do this weekend, young man? This weekend... This past weekend was another Apple Festival show. Good show. Yeah, I think you were there, wasn't you? I believe I, I was. I thought I saw you mm -hmm. out there. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it went good. Uh, yep. I started getting a little goofy about halfway up in the show, but he that's did. fun too. It's mm -hmm. fun. Yeah, he did. And I started playing songs I hadn't played in 20 years, but that's fun. Mm -hmm. And you kind of nailed it, and you remembered the words to all of them. I thought I did, uh, yeah, sure enough. Uh, some of them songs, it's a wonder. Yeah. But I did. I yeah. did good. Yeah, yeah, it was fun. If my arm, my shoulder wasn't so sore, I'd pat myself on the back. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Now, another young feller did some music there, and we loved seeing Brett Cantrell. Brett Cantrell is really good. He is really, really good. Nice and young man, too. You know what's so cool? He, he kind of started out here with that family, and then with the bluegrass around town, and then all of a sudden he's a grown-up big boy, and he's got his own deal going on. I know he's, he's doing he does a good job. real good. Yeah, what do you call the kind of music he does? Is that more like today's country? Well, he does a lot of uh, he, yeah, the country he does I think is more like a more modern. I don't know about today's country, but it's it is a more modern thing than what I usually do. Yeah. But, uh, you know, he, he does bluegrass and uh, gospel. That boy's really talented. He's talented. And, and it might be because he had a little bit of learning, a little bit of teaching mm -hmm. from some of the, some of the best. Some yeah, of the his family, timers. his mother, his uh, grandfather, and everybody. It runs way back. There you go. There you go. So if you did not attend the Apple Festival, you're going to get to hear some music because I was there with my iPad recording. I did all of Brett's and I did yours. And we learned a trick from the week before. You turned the fans off. And it made yeah, a little fans bit Fans on stage, all you musicians, fans running on the stage, especially overhead fans, more so overhead fans, is a big no-no. Yeah, yeah. Big old no-no. You get the Doppler effect and you don't want that. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like a helicopter's landing on your head. Going well, forward. it's like when your buddy blows a horn at you coming down the highway and it changes tones. It'll change your tone as well. Mm -hmm. And I'm already good enough at changing mine, <laughs> so I better. Yeah, you don't need any help. I don't need any help in well, that department. We've talked about old music, new music, good music. If I were to choose the songs that I like to hear you sing, 
I've decided that I want you to do a DVD to I've Been Wrong Before. And I'm going to throw a kink to the guys in just a minute because they're going to show something that... You mean like a video production? Yes, yes, and I've got to it the all... the song? I've got it all written out. I've got it all designed. I've got it all I know designed. the guy that wrote that. I know the guy that wrote that, yeah. I, I heard tell he didn't live any of that story, but he heard the story from somebody who did. Right? I lived some of it. Did you? <laughs> yeah. uh -oh. Uh -oh. I sure did. Well, we, I've I been just, wrong before, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, I just got to studying about it, uh, and I thought, I know that that's the song. I would rather see that song made into a DVD because you know why? It's your favorite? It's everybody's life. Everybody yeah, has gone yeah. through a foreclosure. Everybody's gone through a job loss. Everybody's yeah. gone through the oh, boss gosh, calling. Yeah and mm. calling you in the office. Everybody mm. has lived it. And their woman walked out on them. Exactly. I've exactly. never lived through yeah. that one, yeah. no. Yeah. <clears throat> no, yeah. I never saw that happen. Yeah, and so we are going to, I've Been Wrong Before is going to be made into a DVD production, but it can be available on flash drive. It can be, Donovan's making fun of me. He's laughing at me. Yeah, I love Donovan. He, he keeps me on my toes. He's, he's a generation four back from me, so he has to keep me on my toes. And DVD players, I still have a color TV in my bedroom with an installed DVD player. Now, the day it quits, you will see me coming in here squalling my eyes out because that's how I go through all the old programs and decide what we're going to do here on this set. So, DVDs are still around. Call Jerry Johnson. Let me show you something else that's still around. You know what this is? No, what is that? That was not... Is that in your generation? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Donovan won't know that a cassette. Yeah. 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 This is Loretta Lynn, and it is 19. No, oh, I can't tell. But we're going to play a song for y'all. And I'm going to tell you, let's see if I can turn it on. All right, where's that little bad boy that goes in there? There's that little bad boy. Donovan found the piece that was missing last week, y'all. Oh, and I have to take the cover off the needle. You're getting all detailed. You expect me to be doing all this stuff? Oh, my gosh. Will you hold on to that for just a minute? And will you talk a little bit about Loretta Lynn? I will properly hold on to this. Can you, can you talk a little bit about Loretta Lynn? Loretta Lynn was a country music singer, and she grew up. In what? Butcher Holler? Butcher Holler, Kentucky. Yeah. Yep. And she wrote a song, and it was called Coal Miner's Daughter. Well, Donovan, and it got I'm, way more airplay it. than I've been wrong before. <laughs> yeah, just a little bit. Just a little bit. And who was in the movie that won an Academy Award? Not the guy that wrote I've Been Wrong Before, Sissy, but somebody else. Sissy Spacek. <laughs> yeah, Sissy, her. <laughs> That's right. Hi, sissy. Okay, this is Don't Come Home a Drinking, but I'm playing, okay, if it's the A side that's Don't Come Home a Drinking, what is the other side called? I couldn't tell the you. The B side. The B side, yeah. The B side. I thought you meant the name okay. of the song, yeah. We're going to play the B side. This is a song that was written by Loretta Lynn's sister, Betty Sue Perry. So, here we go, and I think some of you ladies will remember this song. <laughs> I've heard it many times. Yes, I said heard. Yeah, yeah. I'm a saint to a sinner. You need to turn that down a little bit. I need to turn it down. Roll up a little bit. Now. Up a, oh, you're through with it? Okay. A little bit? Yeah, that's pretty good. Is that good? Yeah. Maybe up a little more, just a tad. A 1960s song written by Loretta's sister. It was the B-side but it was my favorite side. Yep. And it's one of those, I didn't, I wouldn't have guessed that you'd ever heard that song. Many times. Really, because yes. of Sissy that lived at your house. Yes, exactly. there's lots of sissies this morning. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> I love it. I love that song. Now this is one of Loretta's old songs that she stopped doing on stage. And I don't know why she did that. I don't know why she stopped doing it on stage, 
but she did, and it was my favorite song. <clears throat> there was a reason. <laughs> Boy, there was a reason. You know, the dangerous thing has occurred to me. What? I get the idea somehow. I don't know where. You know, I come up with crazy ideas all the time. I'm, yeah, you do. I've been accused of that, but I'm getting the idea that you like Loretta Lynn. Oh, no. Oh, no. I am obsessed with Loretta Lynn, and the idea that she has gone on to be with Jesus means that I will never get to see her live in concert again. That's true. Well, if you start seeing her live in concert, I'll be in we're going to have to check on you more often. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, when I think about, <clears throat> I have had front row seats to Loretta Lynn concerts twice, two times in my lifetime. And one time I was eight feet from her, eight feet. Do you know how cool that was to me? Yeah. I'm a woman who grew up on her music. Ask me why. Why? I was married to a drunk. That's why. <laughs> Duh. Yeah. And so her music just attracted me because every time he would come home with drinking and acting stupid, I would put on a Loretta Lynn song. Most of the women who love her music have lived that life. I'm not the only one that married a nut. So we just love that music because she talked about the real deal that's why i love i've been wrong before it talks about the real deal it's real it's real and i said that's the thing that always attracts me to music i don't care nothing now i do love credence the the rhythm the beat all that with credence that now now that you've already mentioned credence yes i'll tell us i'll tell one about credence good yes sir hand me a record a record. Yeah. Okay, now this is Merle Haggard. Yeah. When you bought a Credence Clearwater Revival record back in the day, say side A would be Proud Mary, well, on the backside of every single they ever put out was a hit also. They didn't even intend to it, but it would become a hit too. Check it out. A and B side, Credence Clearwater Revival 45s, were both hits every wow. time. Wow, wow. That's nice to hear me tell it. Now, I said something about this song that I've never heard you do, and it is Merle Haggard, I Threw Away the Rose. Mm -hmm. And you said... I recorded that song. Okay. I had a Nashville steel player come down and do that for me. Mm -hmm. A real good steel player. Everybody that heard it said he was just so good. Yeah. Until I told him it was me. <laughs> uh oh <laughs> Was you. Can anybody explain that? <laughs> <laughs> they didn't have any faith in you when they I record the something like that, that, that in particular, actually, and I told them, you know, I had this guy out of Nashville. It costed a lot of money. I got him down here and he played steel on this Haggard tune for me, and they just stomp and snort about what a steel player that is. Folks, it was me. Yeah. But when I tell them it was me, they go, yeah, really? <laughs> yeah, yeah, really. Okay, Not so, so good anymore. If, if you recorded it, then why wasn't it produced? Well, uh... Is it ready to I, be produced? Well, it is produced. It's recorded and done. But I just never did put it on anything. Didn't see... I Could don't know. it go on a fan favorite? It, it's a great song. You never can tell. You just never know. It is. Can we play just a minute of it? Can we do that? Yeah. Okay. Because a lot of folks out there may not have heard, but this is a great Merle. I had, uh, this is the truth, I had Tim MacArthur and his wife Beth, they sang harmony on that uh, track with me, and boy, they did such a good job. It's just so good. I played the steel, but I shouldn't tell you that. Just don't tell anybody. <laughs> Let them think it's the Nashville guy. All right, here we go, Merle Haggard. <laughs> That's Norman Hamlet playing that still. Once I lived the life I love that song. Wow. I have memories <laughs> that I will not share. Uh, some old guys used to come to the house and we'd play that on the record player. And not good. A little bit of Budweiser might have been spilled. Uh -huh. <laughs> I thought my social friends would help 
Welcome to the Sherry Show. I I'm your co host, <laughs> Mr. Ella J, and today we're playing records for you. <laughs> All right. Yeah. All right, now you've let the cat out of the bag, so this one has to go on a CD because people can't hear it. Well, I'll right. have to study about it. Oh, right. Are you kidding? I've got train loads of songs that ain't, ain't on CDs I've recorded. Okay, now. And again, people come to me all the time. They'll come to, I'll see them in Walmart or anywhere, and they'll say, I've got a song I wrote I want you to record. Yeah. And I say, I've got 10,000 I wrote that I wish I could get time to record. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so fan favorite is going to be put together from things you've already <laughs> done that people can already get. I'm studying about recording Home Again by John Denver to put on there, too. Yes. Yes. I think I could do a good version of that tune. Yeah, by all means, that's a great one. And then... If you believe that. Are you going to mix Merle and fan favorites, put all of it together? So, and some... Well, uh, and well some what, 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 what you would do is you... Merle is mixed and it's, it's produced Ready and it's done. It's just laying there. You could just say, I think I'll put this on fan favorites and yeah, that's all they are to it. And then some of the Hank songs? Never know. I'll tell you one. I don't know about this. Is is Kalija a fan favorite? A lot of people like Kalija. Do they? And it goes back a long way with me too. But if I had one, I wish I hadn't done. <laughs> Kalija. It might have been Kalija. I don't know if I should say that or not. It's it's a good song. I don't know. I don't know. It's probably the only one that I fast forward through when I'm listening. Well, to this thanks. TV. I appreciate the support. <laughs> Yeah. I go to another one, but I'll tell you a song that I love to hear you sing, and you did it here on the show. You didn't know you did it, but Mama's <laughs> Prayer. Mama's Prayers. Yep. Mama's Prayers. That's um, the Mighty Merle. You did that at Heart of the Home, sitting up there on the ridge. And yeah, you had me in a jam that night. Let me explain. Did I? I did not have my capo with me and that guitar was tuned below standard. Oh. So it sounds like a Johnny Cash version of... Uh, of uh, Mama's Prayers, but we got it done and it's okay. Yeah, it's and we like right. Johnny Cash. Yeah, so we that's do. Okay. We yeah. do. Yeah, so that's okay. I'm just saying it was in a lower key than what I normally do it in. Now, let me ask you this. At the Apple Festival, you did a little bit of rock and roll, you did a little bit of country. You. I shook it up, didn't I? You did. You, you went here and there and everywhere. Everybody liked it. One thing you didn't do, um, and you said you've never done it live, Jesus Called. But you I've played never played it. that song live in my life. Yep, but you played it, and people walked up to me and bought the CD that yeah. had Jesus Called on it. Yeah. And so we know that that's such a great popular song for people that touches their heart. Yeah. Now we're going to do the Christmas CD very soon, and we're going to play that song that touches people's heart. Is it too soon today to play the Christmas CD? Lord, I would think so, but now some people start early. I don't it's know. It's cold out there today. It's cold enough for Christmas. I think we're going to take a commercial break, and yeah. when we come back, we're going to play the Christmas CD, and we're going to play that song. Do you know why we're going to do that? Yesterday. Because you're the boss? No. Uh -oh. Yesterday. <laughs> I'm not the boss. You're the boss. I don't even get a say so. <laughs> Yesterday, I... <laughs> got a Christmas tree ready to do a Heart of the Home show. And it has cooking utensils on it. And well, it's let me guess. ready. Yes? You want some live music in this Heart of the Home cooking I show? I do. Yeah. Well, I I'll do. tell you this. It's going to cost you. Yep. Because i got to eat really good when yep. I play music at these cooking shows. That's right. That's right. So you can plan the menu. and then Back to the Apple cooking. Festival. Yep. I thought the, the variety was real good. It, it was. went. It went... Uh, we, uh, I did, I did, I did, I did, I Hear You Knocking mm -hmm. by Dave That's Edmonds. Good. That's, That's a good, good. old song. That's, That's a good song. Good. I hadn't thought of that. Now. When I did, um, uh, what's it called, Wild World by Cat Stevens. Mm -hmm. I did Lobo. I did a bunch of good 70s stuff. It went over just real well. And thank you folks for watching. It was cool. If you're watching today, thank you for buying CDs. That's even yep. better. Yep.
Yeah, thanks. And for buying T-shirts and wearing the T-shirts with pride. With pride. Yeah. I'll tell you a fellow who'd wear a T-shirt. If you had your daddy a T-shirt, daddy. He'd wear one. He'd wear one, yeah. wouldn't he? He'd wear we got to get little Nikki a T-shirt. We can't forget that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. That's right. Nikki needs her T-shirt. She's done put in the order here. There you go. There you go. Well, we are going to take a commercial break, and when we come back, we're going to share a Christmas song by Dwight Sanford that you wrote. And um, it's chilly out there this morning. There was a big frost on mm -hmm. my car. So I think it's cold enough that we can do this Christmas song. This is an original written about something that happened here in LJ. And it will touch your heart. And um, it will remind you that as the holidays approach, there are many people who are missing family members. There are many people who are alone. There are many people who have no one to share Christmas dinner with. And I can guarantee you, <clears throat> before we come back on break, get your tissues ready because it is a tearjerker. It's but a I think sad, we should share it. I think sad, we should share it. sad song. It is. What year did you write this song? Uh, maybe 89. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right, we're going to take a commercial break. We'll be right back. You're in the mood for chicken strips, a delicious burger, our classic banana split, or an upside down thick blizzard treat, we've got you covered. Hot and fresh food every day, every time. And delicious DQ soft serve make the perfect pair at your favorite place. Not fast food, fan food fast. Your Blue Ridge, Ella Day, and Jasper Dairy Queens are your meat, eat, and treat headquarters. Thank you for choosing DQ. How may I serve you? United Country Talking Rock Realty says welcome to North Georgia. The leaves are falling and the mountains are calling. Take the back roads and really get to know North Georgia. Combine the amazing workmanship of SGC groups, transforming the forgotten to the fabulous. Teamwork makes the dream work. For buying, selling, or flipping, call Sherry Martin at 404-375-0590 or Evelyn Calhoun at 770-733-0779. Whether you're swimming in the sea or splashing in the pool, making a masterpiece, or just making memories, writing a great American novel, or writing your term paper that's due tomorrow. Whatever you do in life, Farmers is here to protect it. For all your insurance needs, call Donald Curtis in Blue Ridge. Georgia Medical Treatment Center now has two locations to bring you the high quality holistic care you've come to know and expect. We treat neck, back, and joint pain with chiropractic care and injection-based treatment without the need for surgery or prescription painkillers. Our medical weight loss program can also provide relief while ridding your body of toxins, pounds, and inches while improving your overall health. Call today for a free consultation, 770-345-2000, or go online to georgiamtc.com. High-speed Wi-Fi. Not quite as important as running water in your home, but close. Ignite Internet from ETC powers your Wi-Fi network with consistent speeds to keep all your gadgets going strong. Streaming video players, laptops, tablets, even smartphones, so you're never stuck with those big cell data charges. And talk about value. Just pick your speed and keep the Wi-Fi flowing in your home at a great low price. Upgrade your Internet today. Call or visit etcnow.com to learn more. use locally we mm -hmm. like things that are done locally it was done at community bank of pickens county you like community bank of pickens county don't that's you that's my bank that's my bank we love those people and this was done part of it was done there because one of the employees is the star in this dvd really she's not ronnie mcdowell you know who 
Ronnie McDowell is? Uh, yes, I do. And do you know that he wrote the song called The King Is Gone? Yes, I do. And do you know that my jukebox at the Iron Skillet restaurant, it was number C-17? I and, also knew that. Yeah, and every morning I'd hit the button and my help would be back there while we're making 150 biscuits. And I'd blast that sucker out because that song was the year Elvis died. I know some people have come along since then, but I, I, don't, I don't think I've heard any of them. I, I believe that Ronnie McDowell could sing more like Elvis than anybody else. He, he is amazing, absolutely amazing. And have but they got new ones out there now that's doing real good too, I don't know, but that's just to hear me tell it again. Have you seen Ronnie in concert live? No. He does a great concert. He does a great concert. But I have never seen him do The King Is Gone. Hmm. Why? I don't know. Never, I've never seen him live. I've seen him live several times, but I've never seen him do The King Is Gone. He does good. So y'all go Google that today on YouTube. And also, let me remind you on YouTube, if you want to see our show in its entirety after we air on ETC, then tonight it will be downloaded and you will get availability. You can, you can fast forward, you can listen to music, you can listen to whatever you want to. All you have to do is hit the subscribe button and it's just Sherry Martin, C-H-E-R-I-E Martin. And everything's on there. His music, my stuff, our craziness, our recipes, heart of the home. There's so much stuff on there and you can watch it late at night when you can't sleep. You can watch it during the day when you ought to be working. You can watch it just now anytime you want to on YouTube. Did you know that? Yes, I did. It's I available 24-7. And if you saw us at the Apple Festival, one little old lady, she's precious, she came up and bought CDs and bought a T-shirt, and she said, I like YouTube. And I said, I'm so glad you do. So I gave her the information how she can watch us, and I hope she's watching today. People were really touched by the songs that you chose. They were also touched by you're just down home, really. I thought that went good. It was great. That right. one song, I started and, and, and fuddled something a little bit, and I said, whoa, let me try that again. So I started over, and then I nailed it. Uh-uh. Yeah, yeah, it will. Okay, yeah. Okay. Are you, are you going to play Merry Christmas, Ella J? We're going to play Merry Christmas, Ella J in just a few minutes, but I want to I share. need to tell something about it. Okay. Before you do. Well, we're Anytime. Gonna, we're going to do the music after we do this DVD because I think it's important to, to think about a local, a local DVD today. If you were shooting a local DVD in these mountains, what are the areas you would choose to, to spotlight? Fort Mountain, Tails Creek, and Boardtown. There you go. There you go. And so I told everybody yesterday, I teared up coming down Boardtown Road day before yesterday just looking at how beautiful it was. It yeah. was absolutely beautiful. Are you going to sneeze? No. No, no, okay. Um, but we, we looked at. Oh. What are you doing? I'm having a spell. He's having a spell. We, I'm all we, right now. We were coming down Boardtown Road, and just the way the leaves and the trees were over that road, it was absolutely beautiful. It's breathtaking. And that's what gave me the idea to do the DVD. I thought when, when I was going through there, whatever day that was, I, when I come to a place, I, we, we called it Boardtown Straight. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's where you put the pedal on the yes. mat. Mm -hmm, yeah, <laughs> Gosh, that's it. It's a wonder yeah. we're still here. Yeah, I have a, a beautiful <laughs> video of a Dodge Coronet going down through there one Sunday morning. H.A. You know what H.A. stands for, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, we were hauling, and we were, and it was really, really cool. And there is a straight on board down. Do not speed and do not do anything bad or the law will get you. You know anything about the law getting you on board ben, down? Ben, I ain't, didn't get got on board town, but I, I, I've been got before. Yeah, yeah. Be careful out there, guys. But get out on board town today. Get out there and just say thank you, Lord, for all these beautiful leaves. And it's just so weird. We turned quickly. Don't you think this year the leaves turned a little fast? Maybe so. Yeah, it was first yeah. week in November, second week in November. We didn't get much year. rain, and it was, and then when those cool nights came, it, it went fast. Yeah. yeah. Well, we're going to share. This is a local DVD produced in Pickens County, and this is one of the guys is a deputy sheriff. Um, the lady who is starring in it works community bank, did for years, and then my co-host, Bill Senyard, is in it, and it's all done locally. So I want y'all to sit back and watch it. And then when we come back, you're going to get to hear the tale about your Christmas song. And the name of it is? 
Welcome to Ella J. And I guess I've done enough about Ella J. now, so <laughs> we'll get off that. <laughs> The next CD I make, my, maybe I won't mention Ella You J. won't mention it. My okay. friends are making fun of me. Maybe you'll mention North Georgia yeah. Mountains. I don't maybe know. so, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. All right, here we go. We're going to Ronnie McDowell, and this is a locally produced DVD. She's a single woman taking on She's a single lady, all American girl. Hey, she don't need nobody to make her proud and strong. She's a single woman, and she's making it on her own. She gave up everything to be by his side. She thought he was her savior, that one true love in life. Then things begin to crumble God knows how she tried To keep it all together Through the cheating and the lies Now she's a single woman Taking on the world She's a single lady All American girl huh? She don't need nobody To make her proud and strong She's a single watch her and it's driving me insane she's got it all together breaking free from all her chains and now i'll never know what it's like to play a part of her world in all its glory i'm the fool that broke her heart now she's a single woman taking on the world she's a single American girl, hey, she don't need nobody to make her proud and strong. She's a single woman and she's making it on her own. Guess what? That is a locally produced Pickens County, so cool. Ronnie McDowell's shots were shot down near LaGrange and Noonan. But he he did the song, Single Woman, and, and this came out during a time that women were back in the workforce. They were getting educations. They were saying, hey, I'm going to move on. I'm going to do better with my life. And it was a great, strong point for women to say, I don't have to settle for what I'm settling for. I've been wrong before I started because somebody didn't settle for what they settled for. And I've been wrong before I started because of a sad story with a woman, right? Yeah. And now it needs to be a DVD. 
You got the concept? Got it. Got it. You gonna open the pawn shop back up so you can put all that stuff in there and start the beginning of the story there? No. Probably not. No, no. <laughs> but you can borrow somebody else's pawn shop, right? Isn't that where it started? No. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I thought she came into the pawn shop and talked to you when you wrote. Who? The lady that was telling you the story about had lost everything. Oh, I do know what you're talking about. Duh. Yeah. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I had an office in the back, and, yes. and uh, yeah, she's a dear friend, and she came yeah. in, and things were just falling all to pieces for her. Mm -hmm. And uh, I probably should have tried to marry her or something, <laughs> You've been smart. but I found out something. That's the number one cause of divorce. Yeah, get married. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. <laughs> but she's so pretty and, uh, and, and sweet and uh, telling me about all that, and there I went. She yeah. walked on out the door. She stayed a long time, but we talked, and uh, then I wrote, started writing the song, yeah. And did you write the Christmas song before that one or after that one? It was after. Okay. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about how you wrote the, brought the, Christ, wrote the Christmas story, because we're going to share that now. Well, I, uh, it's a, you know, I think we've already covered this. It's about 90-something percent true mm -hmm. and uh, the, the one thing that's unique about that song I believe is I played the dobro on that song and if I hadn't have told you that I bet you'd have just raved on about what a dobro player that was <laughs> but I done told you so yeah. and what we did that I thought was unique was I played the dobro track and then this uh, Larry Stewart played steel guitar behind Dobro. Have you ever heard of that? Well, it seemed awful strange, but I swear I love the way it worked out. Yep, yep. And so that's really unique about it. And the rest of it's just pretty much, you know, the way it happened. Some of it's imaginary, not much, but yeah. <laughs> well, we want to share it, and it is that Christmas season. It is the time that here's, you Here's the point. The, the point is it tells a good story and it rhymes. I love for songs to rhyme. If it don't rhyme, I just go do something else. <laughs> because I think they should rhyme. We got a plane going over, don't we? We do, yeah. And uh, I love it when a song rhymes and tells the truth and tells a good story. So that's what this one does. And we're going to share it with you now. It is on the Christmas CD. And um, this Christmas CD, you said that Astrid is featured on Oh Holy Night, and we're going to share that. Yeah, she, she sang program. Oh Holy Night and uh, done a heck of a job. Yep. And, and as you approach the Christmas holidays, please, if you are battling depression, please try to pick up the phone, call a friend, get somebody to help you, get somebody to get you through the holidays. I have so many friends who've lost their children, and we're all facing the same thing. I've been getting calls from each and every one of them. They said, we don't like the holiday season. We have to get back into loving the holiday season and remembering those that are gone because they were here and we have to honor their memory. So here we go to a really special Christmas song. It was Christmas time in my hometown in 1989. Kinfolk would be coming down, but none of whom were mine. So I told the captain, I'll just work a double, I believe, so the ones that have their families can be home on Christmas Eve. I'm a policeman in Georgia, and a young one, by the way. Silver bells, shotgun shells, and a four-door Chevrolet. The weatherman says snow tonight, and no one should be out. Slim left word to park the cruiser and patrol in my old scout. Barely just into the night, as the snow came falling down, dispatch come on with a call to the bridge just north of town. The call came from a payphone. They said they saw a light. As I approached, an old guitar was ringing through the night. There beneath the steel and stone, now sleeping back an old man sat there all alone humming one by hag the fire lit up his tired old face his 
I shine in the light. He said, Lieutenant, I guess I'm out of place, but I'll just be here for tonight. Dispatch come back on the air. Is everything 10 4? I told him I'd be there a couple of minutes more. I said that old Gibson sounded fine. He said it's all that's left that I call mine. It's been with me since 1954. I had a loving family, but the Lord, he needed them more than me. New Year's Eve, 1967. It seems like only yesterday, but it was long ago and far away. I'm on the road. They're all up in heaven. He said, anyway, I can't play like before. My fingers don't work good anymore. If you'll let me stay here just tonight, I'll be gone by morning light. I stood a block of wood up on its end, and he handed me his only friend. I sat down there by the fire, and I played that old man's heart's desire. As he lay back there on his sack, I played the one about the Cadillac, and I watched him as he drifted off to sleep. I put his old guitar to bed, jumped his fire in my head. A scene played out that I will always keep. Be careful how you treat them all. You never know when you might fall and need someone to show a little love. Or even in just what disguise Something opens up your eyes Or when you'll have a visit From somewhere up above Two C's, ten A Merry Christmas, L.J. It took me several months to be able to listen to it because Christmas is a tough time of year. That is a sad song. That is a But it's so true. I just love that song. It's a good song. Even a, if I did write it. It's a good song. Will you fix White's mic, please? Something happened with yeah, mic? Yeah, I, I think it's been, who knows what happened to it. You know, we are, it's staticky a little bit. We are approaching holidays. We are approaching Thanksgiving. We are approaching the day that everybody comes together and visits and, and, and times are good, but it's, times are not good for everybody. Times are not good for everybody. You know, there's a lot of And so it's really hard. Who really, they dread the holidays. Sure. Go ahead. Yeah, sure. Oh, okay. Yeah, and, and, and when I look at what's happening um, in the world, there is a lot of depression going on. There are suicides going on. There are people who give up. Do not give up, y'all. If you are hurting and if you're sad, you need to pick up the phone and call somebody and get some help. I think about my friend Larry Russell who just buried Sweet Pam. This is the first holiday season. When you go through the first holiday season with the loss of your loved one, it is the toughest ever, but it doesn't get any better. This morning I was talking to Kenny and we were talking about something that happened 20 years ago and I was just bawling my eyes out. It doesn't get any better. It just gets, you can, you can deal with it. You can deal with it and you can help other people. So if you're somebody who's gone through tragedy and trauma and loss, Pick up the phone and call somebody that you can help because there's somebody who is newly going through this. And it's tough. It is really, really tough. Now, often music will get me through it. I'll play something that my daughter loved. My daughter loved Prince and she loved Purple Rain. And she loved all this Cindy Lauper stuff. And I will sometimes get in my car and I'll just blast that music. And I think about her and I think she was here. She was here and she was mine and she was beautiful. And she's not here anymore, but I have to remember her and I have to honor her by doing what I can to keep my life in order. And it's hard. It's really, really hard. If you're a parent who lost a child, I'm right there with you. And, um, but we can do it. We can do it. Now, we're going to share a little bit of Heart of the Home and bringing Heart of the Home back. Was I there? Yes. Yes. You Which were, one is this? You were the reason you were there. This oh. is the one that we did up at the top lot. And the first, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah okay. that uh, started at, um, yeah, at HH. But, but when I think about Heart of the Home, it was my most favorite time of my life. And my daughter was part of that. And I think about a program we did 
and we were talking about if you're looking for a man, you got to find one with Angela said with a 401k and uh, a DOT um, retirement. She started yeah. naming all these things, and I just cracked. And a up. real serious cough. And a real. Yeah. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> it was so one funny. of them that rattles real bad. Yeah. And she said, "Mama," she said, "I found the perfect man." <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. She was so funny, she was so smart, and y'all loved her. And I appreciate the fact that she loved my child. Okay, we're gonna go to a little bit of Heart of the Home because we are producing it again. Thank goodness that Tim has enough sense to go through the editing craziness because it takes a lot of editing to pull Heart of the Home off, but here we go. It's truly God's country. I love it here. So beautiful, I love your tree. That oak tree is just magnificent, absolutely gorgeous. And the fact that it started as a tiny, tiny little seedling. And look at it now, my goodness. We've yep. got some I great shots I watched him grow. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I watched him grow everything you see there. Well, we want to encourage our viewers to pick up one of your CDs. If you want to get in touch with him, you can actually email me at the Sherry Show. T-H-E-C-H-E-R-I-E-S-H-O-W at hotmail.com and we'll reply. He's got all his CDs <clears throat> available and got some of the coolest t-shirts. Cool t-shirts. They're coming. And for you old dudes who like 57 Fords, you will love these t-shirts <laughs> because candy is on the t-shirt. So again, get in touch with me. Yeah. It's been such a pleasure being here and uh, just this is like a vacation. I would call this a daycation. So, Absolutely. It's got to so be a daycation. Thank you very much for my, this is my all-inclusive paid-for vacation. All I had to do was cook a little. Yeah. <laughs> so that's Well, good. you did a good job cooking. Well, that thank was you. really good. Thank, thank you, you very much. That. Now, we're going to leave now. You're going to give us one of my favorite songs, one of those that every time I went to Blue Ridge, Georgia, <clears> I put it in my 8-track on my 66 Chevelle, and up the road I went. So you're going to do one of my favorites? Yep. Here country roads take me home country roads in 1971 me and jackie dunn was running up and down that road right out there this was on the radio it's a night it's an evening by the fire it's been a good day thanks for watching almost heaven west virginia Blue Ridge
Wow, together. what a temptation to just sit at the sit at the top lot all day long. That is tempting. I can do that. Yeah, I know. I, I know. do that. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, we're going to leave you now. We thank you for watching, and we have a very special song We've for you. We've got five minutes before we're leaving them. Look the song's the for? Yeah, yeah, we've got five minutes. Yeah. So it's time now to tell about it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We're going to leave you now, and we have a very special song by my very, very special lady, Astrid. She sang lead on this, and she should have sung lead a whole lot more than what she did. My friends are always joking me. When they heard her sing, they said, she always sings back up, but when she took the mic on this one, they go, you need to let her sing more. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think they want me to not sing, but anyway. It's called Oh Holy Night, and we did this with just an acoustic guitar, and it sounds really, really good. Now, this... This year, you're not doing a Christmas special, but last year, you did a Christmas show, didn't you? Did yeah, you at the Christmas theater. Show? Yes, yeah, I did. did, yeah. And that's when your CD came out. So the yes. CD is available. So this Christmas CD, if you heard today, you heard the Christmas song, and you're going to hear Astrid do Oh Holy Night. If you want to purchase that CD, you have to chase me down or pick up the phone and call me. And you know I'll deliver it to you because that's what I do. Or I'm going to be over at the cabin quite a bit this weekend because i got some stuff going on. So I want you to stop by the cabin and pick up one of his CDs. They make great yeah. Christmas gifts. <clears throat> and I always put them on when I'm cleaning house and it just works. You just get in a good mood and you just feel good. It's a good so, little Christmas record. It yeah, really is. It's a great Great yeah. CD. Get you one. I think you'll like it. Astrid was such a help on that one real hard song. I swear I'd about given up, and she came in and straightened it out for me. Uh-oh. Uh, rocking Around the Christmas Tree, I think. Didn't Brenda Lee do that long? I think I like to never. I didn't figure it out. She did. <laughs> Oh, my. And uh, she's just such a joy. Yeah, she's a sweetie. And I know she's watching, too. Hey, Astrid. And she's one of those folks who lost everything in that old oh, awful gosh, yeah. hurricane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so oh, many me, people. Oh yeah, yeah, we're so blessed to be sitting up here doing what we do, loving what we do. And um, there are so many people that are still hurting in the state of Florida. So remember them. And yeah. we are actually going to have some folks on next week talking about an event that they're going to do. They're going to be going down to Fort Myers to bring help. Yeah. Because a lot of folks down there are still wondering what are they going to do and how are they going to get through these, these hard uh, days as we approach the holidays. Astrid, if I wasn't so old, I'd be <laughs> down there. I'd, be, I'd help you. I'd tote stuff, but uh, I'm really old. He's crazy. He's crazy. And right. old. <laughs> yeah. Old and crazy. Yeah, that's me. That, that's him. We are gonna <laughs> we are gonna leave you today with a beautiful, beautiful Christmas song, and it was produced last year here in Ella J, Georgia, at what studio? It's Oak Leaf Studio at the foothills of beautiful Fort Mountain in the basement of the Dwight House, a place I dearly love to be. There you go. Here we are. Bye, y'all. Okay. Kinfolk would be coming down, but none of whom were mine. So I told the captain, I'll just work a double, I believe, so the ones that have their families can be home on Christmas Eve. I'm a policeman in Georgia, and a young one, by the way. Silver bells, shotgun shells, and a four-door Chevrolet. The weatherman says snow tonight, and no one should be out. Slim left word to park the cruiser and patrol in my old scout. Barely just into the night, as the snow came falling down, dispatch come on with a call to the bridge just north of town. The call came from a payphone. They said they saw a light. As I approached, an old guitar was ringing through the night. There 
beneath the steel and stone on a worn out sleeping bag. An old man sat there all alone, humming one by hag. The fire lit up his tired old face, his eyes shined in the light. He said, Lieutenant, I guess I'm out of place, but I'll just be here for tonight. Dispatch come back on the air. Is everything 10-4? I told him I'd be there a couple minutes more. I said that old Gibson sounded fine. He said it's all that's left that I call mine. It's been with me since 1954. I had a loving family, but the Lord, he needed them more than me. New Year's Eve, 1967. It seems like only yesterday, but it was long ago and far away. I'm on the road. And they're all up in heaven He said, anyway, I can't play like before My fingers don't work good anymore If you'll let me stay here just tonight I'll be gone by morning light I stood a block of wood up on its end And he handed me his only friend I sat down there by the fire And I played that old man's heart's desire as he lay back there on his sack, I played the one about the Cadillac, and I watched him as he drifted off to sleep. I put his old guitar to bed, chunked his fire, and in my head, a scene played out that I will always keep. Be careful how you treat them all. You never know when you might fall and need someone to show a little love. Or even in just what disguise Something opens up your eyes Or when you'll have a visit From somewhere up above Two C's, ten A Merry Christmas, L.J. Whether you're in the mood for chicken strips, a delicious burger,